may have heard of uh, Hanuman Chalisa. Now it's time for Kanpesh Chalisa. J advanced All India rank 93 and Pune rank 1. CBSC class 12 board exams 98.2% Pune topper, probably Maharashtra topper. ICSE class 10 98.6% Pune topper. Bitset he topped Pune with, with a score of 430 out of 450. Highest by a BTM ever. Cleared KVPY 2013 with an All India rank of 30 and I believe top Pune. Yes, he taught Pune in practically all the exams that we can think of. And all the newspapers did benefit from Kalpe's success. He also cleared round one of the Physics and Chemistry Olympiad, cleared round two of the Astronomy Olympiad and was among the top ten at the National Camp. He won Wiskit 2012, the puzzle competition for BT students. By the way, me and Kalpesh have something in common. Apart from the fact that he is choosing IIT Bombay, we both use black belts. And then I wear black belt and he is black belt in correct. That's a poor joke. But... Absolutely versatile. He was also NIE Student of the Year 2011, the News and Education paper by TOI. The step quizzer was a part of the Infosys Catch Them Young workshop as well. Kalpesh is a PT student since his 8th standard and I feel since then he has always enjoyed studies. He is very helping towards all. We are grateful for his contributions during the lectures, especially he was the one who taught me and everyone else when we were covering the J.E. mains physics topics. Can we have Kalpesh here and let's listen something for him. Thank you. Firstly, thanks for your patience. You all have waited till 9.30, almost one hour after the scheduled time. It's really appreciated. Good evening, everyone. And it's, it's been five years now. A really amazing journey. I think the best way to start is telling the tale of how I joined PT. And let me tell you, it was pure luck. It was, it was back in class 8. The foundation course had started. I was, I was a month late. And in school, we had this inter-class quiz. And there was, this lo there was this logic round. Something I really like, but uh, never got the chance to learn it. And my, my teammate suddenly mentioned he, he attends uh, BT for her logic lectures. I, on that day, I realized a missing element in my life. And I joined BT that very evening. I clearly re recollect the first, my first day at BT. I was so scared. And looking at my classmates, I felt awesome. I remember VB sir taught us a, a new game. I think it was a pattern game. Simply amazing. And I think it, it was the best classroom experience I've had till date. The logic lectures were really, really helpful and they proved to be the stepping stone in the future. I then went on to do advanced foundation in class 9 and on Deva sir's recommendation did physics with class 11 during my class 10. Honestly, it was a complete disaster. I don't know, I lost focus or it was a constant pressure from school. But I, I should not pay attention. Sanjay sir would take great pains to, to teach us the concepts. And I don't know, I would just play mobile games in class or I don't know what. And I did pay the price in the end. I, I scored some 10 out of 80 in, in one of the tests. And I probably stood, stood last in the class. And at that time, I decided to give it a break. The one thing BT has always inculcated in us is that warrior spirit, that never die attitude that separates ordinary people from winners. Right after my 10th standard, I sat down, analyzed, thought about all those concepts and all those questions that had irritated me. There was so much pain in the last year. Sushant, Sahil, I really thank you all. You all kept me motivated in the spirit. 
I even had two sessions with Sahil on, uh, I think, physics. And in the end, it all started to make sense and I was ready for the real test. Class 11 and 12 were definitely the best years of my life. I mean, to name a few, there was this AC that never worked. There was there was CMSR's jokes. Sushant's extremely non veg jokes. <laughs> Ashwin's congratulations. My typical not hitting anything dialogue. Vivi sir's attempts at good jokes. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> and of course, that happiness all around BT. I'm really blessed to have spent my 11th and 12th in BT. And in not just academics, I learned so much more. I, I finally opened up in 11th and 12th. I started asking doubts. And I, I think this has really helped me in the long run. In fact, there was a doubt on error analysis. We so would remember that. And it led to the discussion of an entirely new concept. And that was the first question in our JEE mains paper. So, 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 so to all you juniors, please ask doubts. Don't, don't be like how, how I was in the junior classes. Please ask doubts. Get it clear. I also learned the importance of, importance of friendship. Sahil, of course. Harsh, of course. Kanish, Ritwik, Akshun. Our group totally rocked. And we have enjoyed so much in the, in, in the past few years. I mean, the hours we have spent over the phone discussing numericals, discussing concepts, sometimes talking about other things to, to take a good break. We had group study sessions. Really amazing. I would really like to thank my parents. They have been, a, they have been an integral part of my, of my success. Both are, both are doctors and had a lot of work throughout the year. But they made sure I would reach class every day, or on every day of the year in class 11 and 12. And they may ensure that the home environment would be excellent to study in. They never put any pressure on me. In fact, I think three months before my JD, they even took me out to a trip at, uh, at Kashi Beach. A really pleasant experience. Secondly, I would like to thank Sundar Rajan from last year's batch. I'm glad to see he's here. He has been a true mentor to me. And uh, I used to keep pestering him on Facebook. And, and he always complied. He would reply promptly with study tips, uh, tips on book selection, and whatnot. I'm really grateful to him. I think my final decision on, on IIT Bombay has partly been because of him. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank BT as a whole. Everyone at BT, the office staff, Vaibha sir, CM sir, Sanjay sir, Karuna ma'am, everyone, Jitu sir. It has been re really an excellent experience. The office staff have always been helpful to us and it has really been amazing. They have been so dedicated, like everyone mentioned, BB sir would extend lectures to 9 hours and uh, CM sir would take online doubt solving sessions. There would be assignment after assignment, test after test. I mean, if they are doing so much, why can't we? And I think uh, they play the most critical role in my success. Lastly, I would like to conclude with this thing. On the JE day, Weber sir told me, Kalpesh, you cut! And today I can proudly say, Sir, I have cut it. We have all cut it. Thank you. Can we have a big round of applause for Kanpesh parents, please? And Kanpesh sister. Sir. I have a question uh, before uh, I request you to say something. So what do doctor do? What do you do with the doctor? As a whole research, the doctors are very good in the JEE exam every year. This year also, Ashwin's parents are doctors, Sahil, uh, Kalpesh, Bobby, Akshun. What? Sir, tell me, sir, man. It's just chance. I think it's just chance, really. 
But even in the ICSC, the top four people who came from ICSC St. Mary's, out of the four people, seven were doctors. Out of the four children who talked, two boys, two girls, eight parents, versus seven parents were doctors. Just one non-medical who was there. So I think it's just chance. I think as doctors, we have to study a lot, you know, so maybe that atmosphere remains, so that's the only thing I can say. So the children are used, oh yeah, after becoming a doctor also we are learning all the time. I think learning is an ongoing process. So I think that environment probably helps. Otherwise, I think as an individual child, you shouldn't expect every child to really take up a profession of our choice. In fact, we are both doctors. We never insisted that he should take up the medical profession. We let him go with his dream and with his choice. In fact, right from age standard, he wanted to become an engineer. And we never really interfered with this. And in 11th, of course, it was the decision to drop bio. Okay, a very good evening to all parents, respected teachers at Bakhliwal Materials and dear students. Uh, a lot has been said about Kalpesh's success story, but I would like to share a few other aspects of his character which has hitherto not been touched upon. First, of course, Kalpesh, right from the beginning, as I said, from 8th standard, was highly focused, confident about himself, and he knew exactly what he wanted to be. He always wanted to become an engineer, preferably from one of the IITs, and he was very, very focused on this. But let me tell you, uh, he was never a bookworm. Even a day prior to exams, be it 10th, 12th or IIT, after finishing his course, he used to say, I'll go for a job, or maybe play on the computer, or maybe beat me in a game of chess. Very, very confident. We always used to tell him, this time would never come back again. Please study, don't go out. But he said, no, I finished. I didn't want to study any further. So this is one aspect that I give him full marks. Secondly, he, I think, very good time management skills. He used to prepare his own timetable and uh, really stick to it. He knew exactly what to do, when to do, and he used to finish it in time. That is great. Another amazing aspect which I, for one, would give him 100 out of 100 is his ability to assess himself. He exactly knew how many marks he would get. When I used to get him back from the 10th exams, ICSC, 12th exams, CPSC, I used to ask him, okay, but how have you done in today's paper? How much do you expect? For example, English. He would say, Papa, maybe 94 out of 100. And mind you, when the results used to come, it used to be 94, maybe one mark here and there. This I find it amazing. Mind you, for all subjects, 10th and 12th. Yeah. Uh, Padani, Sachi, what do you say? 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 And he got an All India rank of 93. Sir, we don't know this. We don't know this. And that's good. And last, what has already been touched upon probably, is his ever willingness to help his friends. I mean, I think that has been corroborated very well by Bobby, Sahil, all, all. Uh, always no competitive spirit. Well, very, very healthy spirit of competition was there. Whether it be on Facebook, telephonic calls or of course the six of them which you have, which they used to have group discussions. So I think I'd like to conclude here, it's already quite late. Uh, I think we as parents are really blessed to have Kalpesh as a son. And I would like to thank uh, all the teachers at Bakhliwal Returns, specifically Vaibhav sir, for all the guidance and help which they have given in the last five years journey. Thank you sir. Thank you all. I, whatever Shitendra has said is so very true. I used to always hope and pray that whatever Kalpesh dreams will come true. But honestly, as a mother, I was very apprehensive. We are doctors, we know nothing about engineering or IIT. So I used to be worried, will he be able to do it? 
I used to be concerned whether he will get burnt out, will they get stressed out. In fact, I expressed my concerns every time I met Webhav sir. Will he be okay? So he said, no, don't worry, it will all be fine. And that is what I think BT is all about, the stress-free environment, you know. The children study, they enjoy. It is the institute for, with a perfect balance of academics and enjoyment and fun. So when you say BT is Bakliwal Tutorials, I think I would like to add it's a center with brilliant teachers, with a brilliant team, and is So it is not just a coaching institute. It is not just an IIT coaching institute. It is a center for happy learning. And I wish Webhav sir and all his team, Bakliwal Tutorials, the very best always. Thank you. Can we have, can we cheer up for Sharmista? Um, I think I can say I'm the proudest sister here today. And Kalpesh Krishna, this name. I think he's the like, second smartest person I know, of course, after me. And six, six, six to eight hours of school, six hours at BT, but 11, 12 o'clock, whatever time at night, he's always willing to help me with the numericals, problems, and... I, even though I may not follow his footsteps of career, but I think his dedication, hard work, and most importantly, the faith in his dreams is what I'll always carry on in my life. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir.